Hey David, I want to build this quick demo just so I can show you what we did with a remote table in order to get a reference list of service offerings that someone was subscribed to. I'm logged in. Well, first let me show you the definitions. If I go to System Definitions and I look at the tables, uh, what I can see is these are all the remote tables that I built. And I built a remote table here, and um, I call that remote table Service Offering Subscriptions. And all the table has is it has one column in there for service offering, which is a reference to an offering, and then a subscription method. Um, I'm not using the subscription method right now, but I, I thought maybe that would be a good thing to put in in the future. Now, what I had to do for the remote table once I defined it, I had to go and write the remote table, um, basically the script that calls out. And what this script does when you call the remote table, it's going to go get a list of the user subscriptions, the user subscriptions by department, by company, by location, and by group. So what I'm basically doing down here is filtering by the user ID. So if I get the sys ID, um, actually that's that's the creation of the, of the list. Uh, the functions down here are what gets everything. So this is getting a subscription for the logged in user. So I'm logged in as John Spierka right now. And then the same thing for department, and the same thing for company. So what I'm doing is I'm getting that user's company or getting the list of, on the bottom, I'm getting the list of the user's groups. And then I'm able to pull all the services for those that user's groups. Now the result of doing this is you get a remote table called service offering subscriptions. If I click on service offering subscriptions, I now get a list of every service or offering that that user is subscribed to. So in this case, the user John Spierko is subscribed to 32 different um, service offerings. And now I can use this table as a reference list inside of a catalog item if I wanted to, or wherever else I wanted to. So I have both the count and a reference to all those. Now if I switch users, right, if I'm logged in now as a different person, let's say I go in as, um, let's say I go in as you because you have a service in here. So let's say I go in as David Big Pen, and I'll, I'll put David in there. Now, if I go back on the same thing, I go to that table under David, and basically it's a list of my subscribe to services. So if I list, click on service offering subscriptions here, you can see I have a very, I have a much smaller list, only 17 records that I'm subscribed to as the David user. Now, the immediately, the immediate need I had for this table was to use it in a catalog item. So if I go into the service portfolio, I'll just. I'll continue to do this as David because this is the end of my demo. But I'll go in the service portfolio. And what I can do in the service portfolio is if I create an incident. And so if I go in and I say, I want to get help. And this is part of the incident process. I'm going to report an incident. And if I say the incident is on a, cer a certain offering that I'm subscribed to. I call it service here, but this is really a list of offerings. So now what I'm doing is I'm using that remote table that I created to list all the offerings that I'm subscribed to. So these are the 17 or 18 services that you were subscribed to uh, before as that user. So once you pick this now, I have that and it discriminates by the user so that I have a definitive list. And that's basically the what I use that remote table for. is, um, And I think it's really useful for other people as well because you don't only get the user subscriptions but you get all the subscriptions through all of the different um, mechanisms. Thank you.